Good Saturday morning. It's Patrick with the Elkie Shaver. I uh, want to share a shave with you. I got something new this week. Um, and I'm going to use some older stuff to go with it. But I... Uh, I really like the Razor Rock Game Changer. And I bought the uh, 1.05 base plate. I used it once yesterday. I got it yesterday afternoon after everybody lied 14 times about when it's supposed to get here. Anyways... Um, I don't find it scary. It's very smooth, uh, much more efficient to me than the .84, which is a, a fine shaver and probably efficient enough, but um, I wanted something a little bit more, and this so far with, through one shave is uh, been good. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot about it, um, which is kind of puzzling for whatever, for I just figured there would be a lot of people buy it. Use it. I've seen a lot of people buy it, but not haven't seen very many videos or a lot of people saying what they thought about it. Pardon me. And in this, in it, we have a, a second use um, Indian Wil Wil Wilkinson sword. Boom. But uh, I figure since we're using a uh, modern razor, we would go with the. Uh, an older soap, so Williams shave stick here. And then we've also got the uh, there we go, JB Williams and Company Aqua Velva in the uh, the fishing reel, <laughs> eight ounces. Um, I bought this used, of course. I'm not sure when it was made. Um, Anyways, I don't know, um, but I'm, I'm puzzling over that. I, I I don't know when it was made if I even looked it up. But for the the shaver, we'll be using the uh, Oki shaver brush with a synthetic knot. Uh, let me go ahead and get him on this shave. Uh, buddy of mine in California sent me this uh, shave stick I don't use it that often because I guess once it's gone it's gone and I've got it sitting on the shelf so I don't see it that often um, but I had I bought another one of these sticks for really really cheap a few years ago and sent it to uh, Fuzzy And I see that he uses it time to time. Okay. We'll see how that goes. <coughs> And I guess thinking about this decanter, uh, it it may have been from the '70s when they had the uh, the fishing reel and the fishing lures and the uh, the package. I never really thought about it before. I don't remember where I bought this at. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, this old Williams don't lather very good.
Okay. I think that might work. Uh, here, let's let you look there and see the uh, blade exposure and the gap on it. I got soap everywhere. All right, here we go. First pass. Hope this finds y'all good and well. That you had a good Thanksgiving. Having a good weekend. My wife's surgery went pretty good. She's got a lot of arthritis in that knee and the doctor said that there may not be a whole lot more that can be done before they talk about uh, a knee replacement which is not good as young as she is <coughs> in my opinion <coughs> but do what you must I guess Fast too. She got to take the uh, the wrap off today that they wrapped her up with after surgery, and she's hobbling around. I got up at about six um, Thanksgiving morning to. Uh, with the turkey in and she already had it done except for putting it in the oven quite independent it's hard to help somebody who doesn't want your help Not that she doesn't want it, she thinks she doesn't need it. And truth be told, she probably didn't need it, but she didn't need to be doing what she was doing. I've seen a little bit of a few write-ups about this base plate. I was hoping to <coughs> uh, learn some more about it before I ordered it, but I knew it would be somewhat better than the .84. The uh, .95 for the Lupo, I've got a .72, which I like okay. It's not quite efficient enough. Uh, but the .95 is actually a little much for a daily shaver for me. I used one for 
a few months is almost a daily shaver. Uh, ended up trading it for something or something because it was a a little bit much for me. But this 105, I guess it's the head geometry or whatever you want to say. I don't find that at all. I think that this 1.05 could be a daily shaver fairly easy for me at least. I've heard or read that some people said it was too aggressive or and for some people it, they may find it aggressive. I'm just not one of those people. It's, uh, what were the words used um, that I saw? Um, smooth but heavy on efficiency or something like that. I could see where Somebody would get that from this. But I'm liking it so far. To me, it reminds me of a uh, somewhat uh, the Rockwell. What was it? The six uh, C. Not the stainless one. Right, 6C, I'm pretty sure that's what it was, but. I have one that I messed the threads up on the top cap, and it's been, I should have just spent $12 and get, a, get another one, but I've just thrown it in the drawer and forgot about it. Hold on. But somewhere around the, the six six plate maybe. I have no idea what that blade gap is on that. It's just a comparison from memory. Because the six I think was my plate of cho choice in that shaver. And these, uh, this blade that I've got in here, <coughs> they give it up pretty quick as far as I'm concerned. The Wilkinson sword from India. Not a sharp, smooth, but nearly done with my second shave and it's not cutting like I need it to. Or want it to. Nice shave all, all around, in my opinion. Christmas is a month from today.
Yeah, you can tell this is the uh, older formula. It smells, feels to me much better than the newer stuff. And I have a bottle or two of the newer stuff and nothing wrong with it. It's just not the older formula. All right, <clears throat> let me recap and I'll get off here and let y'all go. Uh, today we use the uh, Razor Rock. 1.05 um, game changer goodness sorry uh, for soap we use the Williams shave stick that goes right back up here on the shelf um, then we use the JB Williams and company um, aqua velvet in the uh, fishing reel canner and for brush we use the Oki shaver synthetic um, I guess that's it. That's going to do it for this one. I do appreciate y'all watching and sharing your time with me. Um, comments, questions, leave them below. It's good to hear from everyone that, uh, that comments. Uh, I got a, uh, a comment this morning at some time and it was in Cyrillic. So I got to figure out how to, uh, if I can read it, um, because I don't know Cyrillic. But anyways, um, I'll get off here and let y'all go now. Uh, I thank y'all for watching and sharing time with me. Stay safe and healthy and all that good stuff. And Lord willing, we'll see y'all next week. Have a good one.